There was an instance during this time that you took me to a back room and insisted on helping me into the costume or outfit rather than having me do it myself. And okay, so next I'm going to talk about the last communication I had with them. The thing with this person, with him, is um, when people end on a bad term or quit abruptly. I remember at one point it was almost like he was ready to move down here, but I wasn't ready to move ready for him to move down here because I didn't know what was going on with my job or like career. At the time I was working with someone who shall not be named. And I'm no longer working for them by the way. You guys probably all know who it is, but um I quit like two or two or three months ago. I don't remember, but basically I really thought my career was going somewhere with this person and like we were doing like a lot of awesome stuff and like different content and like we had so many great ideas and I was really really pumped to work with them and like you know grow and like be more than a model because you have a lot like you're not just a model you have yeah. so many things that you're uh... and you know we were talking I was trying to help her choose outfits and something didn't seem right so we called her and she's, you know, giving us information and she goes, oh yeah, by the way, I'm schizophrenic. And we're like, schizophrenic and bipolar. And we're like, <laughs> okay, well, you know, she probably has it under control. Fine. This person shot with her before. It's all good. You know, she just probably isn't the best communicator. It's fine. We go to dinner prior before um, my coworker, you know, um, left. So, you know, she's she's still there at this meeting and, um, you know, and so we bring up this model and we're like, hey, she told us she was crazy. She literally said she was crazy, that she was schizophrenic and bipolar. They laugh at us. They laugh at it. You're all you're seeing you're you, you feel like you're seeing a different side. You're seeing something else that these people aren't. They're just like looking into a situation. You're like, no, that. They said this to me, and like this is what happened. But reality is, they're just manipulating you, and you know, you just you kind of feel again obligated to stay. You feel um, kind of helpless. You just feel kind of helpless. So I mean, I should have quit, but I don't know. I don't know. I think what by the time he was like ready to move down there, I was just like so like flustered with everything I really did not know what I wanted to do because at the time I'm like okay I want to dance okay I want to model okay I want to film okay I want to do video okay and, like edit and like do makeup and, like I'm really into makeup like I'm just like I guess I'm just a passionate person I'm passionate about a lot of different things and I felt like <clears throat> any one of these paths could I could be successful in but I just didn't know which one and then there's working for this person and I was like really really confident know if this would go somewhere and I'd be able to like really grow in this business and like but that didn't work out it's important um, I think you understand how upsetting this whole situation was and when I wrote this out it's it's raw emotion and it's it's genuine and um, you know it would feel wrong refilming that it almost would feel like it was scripted